As you can see with this Maguire stuff, you can wait for it to turn your finger block. The block means it's working. <laughs> All right, what's happening guys? Today we are tackling uh, the front bumper. I gotta get that front end back together, but quick small video for it. Here's a bumper that came off of it. Um, it's pretty good condition as you guys can see me. Um, you see it's got some rust here, some build up. I've just been screwing around with this side a little bit, but you see how shiny I am here? Probably read my shirt. Over here I'm a little pooey. Still pretty good. So the metal's all good. I'm gonna show you guys how to restore this. A nice, cheap, easy way. You can even tell it feels a lot smoother compared to this roughness. Um, and I'll show you how I do that. Uh, simple tools, I'm just gonna use a little bit of brake clean, cuz. And this is where it breaks down. We're gonna use WD-40, aluminum foil. I know some people say tin foil, aluminum foil. Aluminum's a more softer material. I'm using Mother's right now, only got a half can. Uh, I'm plying it by hand, but I'll try this test I'll try by hand. And I'll also try by my drill method here. Um, you've seen me use this in my wheel polishing video, how I re these wheels actually right here. And you can see how they're still shiny till this day. It's my car and not no one else's, but the fronts, are, as you can see, look mint. You can still see the reflection till this day. And these haven't been washed either. So let's uh, stop talking about stupid Hondas and get back to bumpers. But step one, take off this clear tape. I don't know why the hell there's tape on this, but, and tape residue, which I hate the most. So let's get that off. Finally, the Beaner shows up with this 23s on his, what, third work truck right now. Goddamn 4L60s keep going out. <laughs> You're late, man. Yeah, man. The shit looking clean. So we just took the goof off, this stuff's awesome. It kind of smells like a nail polish remover, so you might just be able to use nail polish remover and just save the couple bucks there, but it had a lot of tape, so it's pretty good for taking off the bumper stickers, that kind of stuff. Just did a quick wipe through, so you can see it's a little bit cloudy here. It's really rough up here because it's got pitting in it. All this pitting I'm gonna try to get out. Um, so on to the trickery here. We're going to use a curled up piece of aluminum foil. A little bit of WD-40, I know a lot of people use uh, Coca-Cola as well. Just WD-40 is pretty good at getting the like surface rust, that kind of stuff off here. Let's try an experiment. We'll uh, just do a WD-40 only run here. And here. And this light coat here. And we'll see, we'll let that sit for a few minutes, give it a quick wipe. See there's already foaming off, but we'll give it a wipe. Then we'll hit it with the tin foil and stuff after. Okay, let's just give it a wipe. Really didn't do much. Let's do the lighter stuff maybe. Yeah, it's kind of taking the lighter stuff out a little bit, not really though. All right, let's set up the tripod and we'll uh, hit it with the tin foil and WD-40 magic. Shout out to my work stand, by the way. If you don't use wheels, tires, whatever, jack stands to get your stuff done, me and you ain't got nothing in common. <laughs> Okay, so that's a first pass. That rust is metal that's pitted, so that ain't going anywhere. But you can see it cleared up all this kind of stuff here. That kind of stuff. This one's completely clean. So, I'm not gonna bore you guys to death. I'm gonna just do, we'll do half. Fuck, yeah, why not? I'll do half for you guys. But I'm gonna polish it all in one stage. But yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it for YouTube. Just cause I like you guys. I'm gonna do half of that. So we'll do a before, a before and after what we looking at or what we working with. Just so you guys don't think I'm screwing with you. Legit down the middle. Fuck you. Fuck you. So this side, driver side. Sorry, this front bumper, this is gonna be the passenger side we're gonna be doing. Off camera, I ain't gonna bore you.
So that's with the machine. It's gonna give it a good little buff, just waiting for it to haze up. As you can see with this McGuire stuff, you kind of wait for it to turn your finger block. The block means it's working. <laughs> kidding, anyways, back. I think I'm just gonna polish out here because you can actually see what we're doing. I'm not sure if the camera does justice, but see it's all hazy and iffy. Here's our tape line. Actually, that's a good idea. Look, you can't see me. John Cena. Hey, there I am, what's good? All right, as you can see, this thing is, it looks new. I got the rest to do. That's a quick little video for you guys. Um, how to pop, how to uh, polish up a bumper. Before I fully sign out, here's a fully, uh, finished bumper for you guys. I'll show you any imperfections that I find just because I don't want to BS you too much but I was really happy actually how this turned out. Um, I got some small pitting here. I might be able to take that out if I use something a little bit more aggressive I don't know than the tin foil. I'll try cope next time if I ever want to spot do it. Maybe if I'll do the rear I'll do that. Um, you see some of this uh, whitish stuff? I'm not sure if that's overspray or something because this car once was painted, but as you see, you can see me yeah. really well here. So check out my reflection, what's up? Um, yeah, everything looks spot on. I'm definitely happy with us. I'll try to get my shadow out of here, so I'm not blocking it, but yeah. And then again with me on the hood of this whoopee. Um, thanks for watching. Like the channel, subscribe to it, or at least drop a like, seeing if this entertained you, if this helped you out, or if you plan on doing this in the future, be it your chrome wheels, chrome lips, chrome trim, whatever it be, stainless trim. Um, yeah, let me know if that worked for you, or if you guys done anything along the lines of that. Thanks for watching.